Welcome back to The Magic in the Music. I'm Jen. Today we got some very, very exciting news as we saw the very first glimpses inside the newly refurbished Studio Villas at Disney's Polynesian Villas and Bungalows. Yes, that's right. Guests are staying in these newly refurbished rooms and you can too. So let's discuss these changes to these rooms and how they might impact your next DVC stay. So we are DVC owners at Polynesian and I am beyond excited to see the changes coming to these rooms. DVC began this soft goods refurbishment with the bungalows and you can check out a tour of a newly refurbished bungalow right here. But let's face it, most of us are never ever going to stay in one of those bungalows. So let's get down to the rooms that we're really looking for, studios. So what we're hearing is that the Pago Pago building is now receiving guests in these brand new rooms and literally like the first sets of guests to stay in these rooms just this week. And it's only a matter of time before the other two buildings are fully completed. So let's take a look at the changes that are coming to all of the Polynesian studios. The first big change that you'll notice is the color palette. Gone are the bright oranges and reds in favor of a more muted blue-green kind of color. The dark wood tones remain as most of the furniture has not changed, but the walls are now white rather than the beige color that they used to be. This color palette is definitely cooler than the old one. Uh, I for one will miss the bright reds and oranges of the old room. They're colors that I would not pick for my own home, which is exactly why I like seeing them and experiencing them elsewhere. Even so, this turquoise-ish kind of color palette, it's pretty and relaxing. Honestly, it's exactly the color my grandmother would have chosen. The next big change which everyone is talking about is the fold-down bed. That's right folks, we've got fold-down queen beds in the studios! This is not a drill! This is really happening, finally! The orange-red fold-out couches have been replaced with fold-down beds, just like the Riviera and Saratoga Springs rooms. This is big news, because for many people, the fold-out beds are a major limitation. For example, we sometimes like to bring one of our parents on vacation with us, but we don't want to make them sleep in a fold-out bed. These fold-down beds are a game-changer for us, because we can bring them and give them a normal, legit bed. It's actually comfortable. Yes, I'm fine sleeping on a fold-out bed, but honestly, a lot of people just aren't. Add this to the existing single fold-down bed and you've got a studio that very comfortably sleeps five. Drop in that split bathroom and this is the ideal studio for larger parties, given that it's also the biggest DVC studio at Disney World. Reportedly, these studios are somewhere between about 450 and 460 square feet. They're huge, and even with the beds down, there is still room to spare. So in terms of that component of the upgrade, the function, this is a big upgrade in terms of function. Moving on to the bathroom. We are noticing very few changes in the bathroom, which makes sense because this is not a hard goods refurb. We did notice a new shower curtain. Honestly, I think the layout and configuration and look of these bathrooms is really, really functional. So that's pretty much fine with me. They didn't need to change a thing. Okay, let's talk about the art for a minute. The bird art that used to be on the wall above the sofa, kind of looked like the Tiki Room birds, it now appears to be in the full bathroom. That's where the mermaid print used to be and there used to also be a bright blue wall. It kind of looks like that's gone. If both of those things are gone, I am going to be disappointed for sure because I thought that that was a really fun touch. That mermaid print was really evocative of the scene in the Peter Pan ride where they see the different mermaids and the one kind of looks like Ariel. I think everybody loved that touch and it looks to be gone. I mean, I haven't been in the room, but I've seen photos and I, I don't see it. I feel like the Tiki Room looking birds are in there instead. So I'll be a little sad if, if that art is gone. I really, really enjoyed it. The new fold down beds feature a print of a watercolor island scene with Stitch making an understated appearance on it. Inside we can see a tropical flower pattern with these waves, which are generic enough, 
but are also evocative of the storytelling segments in the film Moana. A similar style and color palette flower pattern can be seen on the new shower curtain in the full bathroom. Inside the single fold down bed, the same nighttime scene remains with Lilo and Stitch on a hammock. So some other touches, I am happy to report that the Polynesian logo style Maui lamp remains, as do the carvings on the fold down single bed. Some have expressed concerns about the Moana theming being introduced into the regular hotel rooms at the Polynesian. I would say that these rooms are no more character themed than they were in the original DVC design. They have very light Lilo and Stitch references and that's really about it as far as I can tell from these photos. So if you were worried about a heavy character overlay, I don't think that's what we got here. So overall, I'm thrilled to get the fold down queen bed in these rooms. I am really, really excited about that. Unfortunately, it may have come at the expense of the brightly colored, playful feel of those original DVC rooms. I mean, those were the rooms when we bought our contract at Polynesian, that's what we were buying. And now they're not quite as fun or playful as they used to be. Even still, this resort has so many amazing features. Proximity to the Magic Kingdom and the TTC, monorail access, fantastic restaurants, Trader Sam's, top-notch views of Magic Kingdom fireworks, the list goes on and on and on. Dole Whip, you know what I'm talking about. We are really looking forward to staying in these newly refurbished rooms the next time that we visit Disney World, and we're definitely going to be bringing you a room tour as soon as we do. If you enjoy Disney music, Disney Vacation Club, or family fun, be sure to check out our other videos. We have lots of great info to help you get the most out of your DVC membership or help you decide if DVC is the right purchase for you. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day, everybody.